Diagnostic pelvic laparoscopy is used to examine the internal organs of the pelvis in an effort to identify a specific problem. You might be advised to undergo diagnostic pelvic laparoscopy if you have pelvic pain or a mass, an abnormal accumulation of fluid, or difficulty becoming pregnant. These may be caused by endometriosis, tubal pregnancy, an ovarian cyst or tumor, scarring from pelvic infections or other conditions. Laparoscopic techniques require only tiny keyhole incisions or puncture wounds, and the recovery period is much shorter and more comfortable. When you arrive at the hospital for your procedure, an intravenous line will be started and you may be given a sedative to help you relax. Pelvic laparoscopy is done under general anesthesia, which will put you to sleep for the duration of the operation. A breathing tube will be temporarily inserted through your mouth and into your throat to help you breathe during the operation. A catheter will also be placed in your bladder to drain your urine. An uncomplicated diagnostic laparoscopy may take as little as 30 to 60 minutes. Your surgeon will gain access to the interior of your pelvis by using a sharp instrument called a trocar to make a small half-inch opening or port just below your navel or umbilicus. Carbon dioxide gas will then be pumped through this umbilical port to puff up your abdomen so its contents can be viewed more easily. Next, your surgeon will insert the laparoscope through the umbilical port. Images from its camera are projected onto a video monitor in the operating room. Your surgeon will carefully examine your pelvic organs and tissues, looking for signs of disease that might explain your symptoms. He or she may create other ports through which instruments can be slipped. These additional instruments are used to move organs out of the way for better viewing or to perform operative procedures such as removing scar tissue, taking biopsies, or draining abnormal fluid. When the laparoscope and other instruments are removed, a special gas valve is left in place briefly to allow all the carbon dioxide to escape from the abdomen. The keyhole incisions are closed with just a few sutures or staples and then covered with bandages. After your surgery, your breathing tube will be removed and you will be monitored in the recovery area. Your catheter will be removed shortly thereafter and you will be given pain medication as needed. Your intravenous line will come out when you can drink liquids. Most patients are released within a few hours of the procedure.